What's up guys, Brennan here, back with another video. Today we're gonna learn part two of the full song, Chikatita by ABBA. If you haven't seen my video for part one, you can check out that right here. And I also did a separate video on the end riff, which you can also check out right here. So, if you've watched my two other videos, we're gonna learn this part two, and then you're gonna have the entire song down. So let's get right into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do new videos every single week, piano covers, piano tutorials, and originals. And I really appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos and subscribes to my channel. So thank you very much. Let's get right into it. All right, so last part that I taught you in my previous video actually repeats. So I'm just gonna play what we already learned and show you the part that you have to repeat. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you're playing that twice. And then I'm gonna teach you now the next part of the song. So we're gonna start with breaking down the right hand because that is probably the trickiest part. So let's go on over to the right hand and this is where it starts. You're gonna have your pointer finger here on F sharp. I'm gonna play it through once and then we're gonna break down how to learn it. So that's F sharp, G sharp, a, B, then you go A, G sharp, F sharp, A. So let's go over that to memorize it. One more time. F sharp, G sharp, A, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, A. One more time. Okay. Then you have to do a big jump. So you're going to go all the way down here to your thumb on A, your pointer finger on D, and you're going to stretch this fourth finger up to F sharp and you're gonna hit this seven times. So it's gonna be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the last one, you hold it, okay? So let's try all that together, including the jump, because that's gonna take a bit of practice. Here we go. Now jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you jump back up here for the next part. And it's similar but different. I'm going to play it through and then show you the difference. Very tricky. This took me a long time to memorize. So just be patient with yourself and keep trying and practicing and you'll get this next part. Here we go. So that's, you're going to start at the same spot you did earlier. So it's going to be like this. But instead of holding the A, you're going to change it. So that very first part stays exactly the same. So F sharp, G sharp, A, B, A, G sharp, F sharp. So try that first part. Just don't do the last thing I taught you where you hold the A. So it's like this. So try that. One more time. Okay. Once you have that memorized, you go on these three again. So try that part. One more time. Now put it all together, a little tricky. Da, 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 da. Nice and slow, I'll slow it down.
Now you go. So you jump your thumb down to E, and then you play this twice. Okay, let's put this whole part together. It's a little tricky, so feel free to pause the video and practice if needed. Here we go. Try it again. Like I said, this is a really hard part, so just keep practicing. Let's go again. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next part. So the one you just ended on, you're actually gonna start on for this next section. I'm gonna play it through once and we'll learn it. Tricky as well. So you're kind of doing a little walk up here. So start on C sharp, move your finger to D, then E, skip F, then you jump all the way up here to G sharp, So this is the little walk. It does help to cross your thumb under, so it's like this. I start on this, this finger, then my thumb plays the D, then I have room to play the rest. Practice that with me. So remember to skip F. Skip this, one more time, last time, then you go, so try that with me, one more time, then you, this might seem familiar, we played something similar in an earlier video. Then you go, two, three. So it's B, C sharp, D, 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 C sharp, B, A. So let's put that entire last section together. Remember the walk up, skip the F. time a little tricky all right we're gonna move on to the next part in the right hand okay it's gonna be very similar to what we just learned but slightly different the thing about this song is the parts are very similar to one another but then they change it slightly so we're gonna learn this next part here and just bear with me if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Here we go. I'm gonna play it through once and then we'll learn the next part. So the beginning is exactly the same, it's like this. Hold the A like we talked about and you do this seven times again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that part's exactly the same. The part that changes is this next part. So then you go like this. So try that with me. Now because we're playing this so fast, it is hard for me to name each note. So my best tip for learning this is to just memorize the parts. Okay, so this next part, let's play it again. Nice and slow, let's go through it again. One more time. Okay, 
it one more part. Let's go over this one more time. Let's do it again. Then the next part is similar to what we already learned. So we'll just play through it again, that little walk up I taught you. Now, the only difference is you go B, A, G sharp. Earlier you went. So we're adding in an extra note. So let's just learn it real quick. So that's C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, then you skip A and you go B, A, G sharp. Let's try that again. One more time. One more time. Then you go. So try that. Then you go back to what we already learned. D, 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 C sharp, B, A. All right. So from the top, let's practice this entire right hand section. Here we go. Jump. Next part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you do the walk up. So now we're going to learn the left hand for this section. You're going to start with playing it down here and you're going to have your pinky here in D, your pointer finger here in A, and your thumb up here to D and back down to A. So it's going to be like this. Practice that with me. And you're going to do that four times. So it's going to be like this. One, between the two. One, two, three, four. Okay, then you're going to move to where your pointer finger was, but you're going to have your pinky there now at A, pointer finger here in E, thumb here in A. And you're going to do the same thing four times. One, two, three, speed it would be like this one two three four ending in the middle okay so just practice that real quick going from D and then moving up to A D the transition between the two should be smooth and no pause in between so let's just play it one more time for example part here. You move your pinky down to E, pointer finger to B, and thumb to E. And you're only going to do that once, so it's going to go like this. Now you shift your entire fingers down one to D, 
A, D, A. And you play that once. So it's like this. This once, move the keys. So see, you're initially playing this, and then you do this. So you're moving everything down one key, okay? So practice that with me once, once. Then you go back up and you play this E one twice. And then lastly, you jump up to A, pinky on A, point your finger on E, and thumb on A. And you do that twice. If you need to grab a pen and paper just to memorize how many times you're playing each, I recommend doing that now. And we'll just go over it real quick. So it starts in D and you do that four times. Then you move your hands up to A, E, A, and you do that four times. Then you go down to E, B, E, you do those once. Move the keys down one to D, A, D, do that once. Then back up to E, B, E, you do it twice. And then lastly, go back up to A, E, A, and you do that twice. So just to go over it nice and slow, it's going to be starting on D, one, two, three, four, then you jump up to A, one, You do that once. Move the keys down one to D, A, D. Do that once. Then back up and do this one twice. And then lastly, A, E, A, twice. I know that's a little tricky, but like I said, feel free to write down um, each section how many times you do it. But just watch me, I'll play it at full speed and feel free to play along with me if you need. Okay, now we're gonna put both hands together. So the best way to do this is to just practice it with both hands nice and slow and then once you're comfortable doing it slow, then you can pick up the speed to eventually playing it at full speed. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Remember, your hands are all the way down here in the left hand, okay? So first, you're not playing anything in the left hand. You're just starting on the right hand. So it's gonna be like this. And when you hit this last one, that's when you start the D in the left hand. So it's gonna be like this. Now that's when your hand has to jump, okay? And your hand needs to be ready right here by the time your thumb gets to this third note, okay? So let's do that nice and slow. Same time, jump and have your hands in the right hand ready, okay? One more time. So this next part's a little tricky, but we're just gonna break it down how to learn it. Here we go. From the top. Same time. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then that's when your hand switches to A.
break that down nice and slow. These two at the same time. You should be playing one in the right hand because remember you do it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Every time you're hitting a key in the left hand. So it's like this. this is tricky but let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will definitely try and help because this is a very advanced song so it is tricky to put both of the hands together and still have the timing of it my best advice is to really get each hand down on its own by itself to where you can do the left hand without even counting how many times you're doing it you just know it instinctually then when you go to put both hands together, because you're already very familiar with both parts, it's easier for the timing of it if you already have both parts down separately. So we're gonna go over this a few more times then we're gonna move on to the next section. Here we go. left hand stays exactly the same but the right hand as we already learned is a little bit different so let's put both hands together nice and slow here's the next part nice and slow.
do that, the rest of the song is actually bits and pieces of what we've already learned thus far. So the next part after you do that is you go back to the beginning section in my earlier video. Um, I'll just play it for you briefly here. Remember that? You just do the exact same thing again. twice and then you go back to what we just learned so one C sharp instead of A. Normally it would be but the only difference is and then other than that it stays exactly the same. Now you do the next part that we already learned. the last little section is also what we learned at the very beginning of the tutorial but it just repeats so I will play that part for you Now the only other part of this tutorial that you should know is the pedal, the piano pedal. If you're unfamiliar with a piano pedal, I have a video on my channel, which you can check out right here just to help explain it more. But generally speaking for this entire song, whenever you move from a different section in the left hand, for example, one of the parts we learned. lightly hold down on the pedal and then when you go to a different note like A you lift off the pedal and push back down so that would sound like this lightly push on the pedal now lift and push back down okay so try that lightly very lightly push on the pedal lift and push back down. And you can do that generally for this song whenever you are changing from section to section in the left hand. You can very lightly hold the pedal, lift off, and push back down before you hit the next section. So an example is this part that we learned in the tutorial. Lift and push back down. So each time I'm moving, Push down, lift, push down, lift, push down. So just as a general rule, whenever you're moving in the left hand from section to section, now I'm changing keys, right? 
That needs to be when I lift the pedal and push back down on it. If you have any questions about that, don't hesitate to let me know in the right, comments guys. below. And that is the entire song of Chikatita by ABBA. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below and I will definitely try and help. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a ton and I will see you guys next time.